In this video, I am going to show you how to create this paper rip transition effect in Premiere Pro. So let's get started. As you can see, I have created a sequence in full HD resolution, and currently I have two different video clips placed on the timeline. To begin, let's carefully position the time indicator to the desired location and make a precise cut on the second video clip. Next, we'll move the time indicator back to the very start of this specific clip. At this point, we can capture a screenshot from the clip, which will be useful for our project. Additionally, feel free to select any image you like for a smooth transition between the clips. Once we have everything in place, we will proceed to remove this video clip from the timeline. In the next step, let's begin by dragging and dropping the screenshot onto the timeline. It's essential to create a total of five duplicates of this image, which will provide us with multiple layers to work with. Now that we have successfully made five identical copies, we can proceed to enhance our project with some exciting assets that will help us create a captivating paper rip transition effect. I have already gathered various assets stored on my computer, specifically designed for this purpose. Among them are five unique paper rip mat files and five complementary paper rip overlays, each offering a distinct texture and feel. Additionally, I have included a vibrant light leak overlay to add an extra touch of visual flair, along with a sound effect that will enhance the overall experience. To start incorporating these materials into our project, let's drag and drop the five paper rip mat files into the project panel. Once that initial step is completed, we need to carefully drag and drop the first paper rip mat file onto the first image, ensuring it aligns perfectly. Following this, we will repeat the process by dragging and dropping the second paper rip mat file onto the second image. This method should be consistently applied to each subsequent image. After all the paper rip mat files are in place, we will select all the mat files at once. Next, simply right-click on any of the selected images. From the context menu that appears, we should choose the option labeled Set to Frame Size. This will help us adjust the resolution of the matte files uniformly, ensuring a cohesive and polished final appearance. In the next step, let's position the time indicator precisely at the first image in the timeline. Once there, let's navigate to the effects panel to apply a track matte key effect to the first image. After that, it's important to switch over to the effect controls panel to fine tune the parameters of the track matte key effect for our specific needs. I will choose the second track to serve as the matte layer, ensuring it fits our desired design perfectly. Once we have set this up, up, let's copy the track mat key effect we just configured. Next, we will proceed to select all the other images that require the same effect. After that, let's paste the copied track mat key effect onto them. As you observe the program monitor, you will notice the changes taking effect, revealing how the mat layer enhances the overall look of our project. In the following step, we need to drag and drop the paper rip overlays inside the project panel. After that, we need to carefully drag and drop the first paper rip overlay file onto the first image, ensuring it aligns perfectly. Following this, we will repeat the process by dragging and dropping the second paper rip overlay file onto the second image. This method should be consistently applied to each subsequent image. After all the paper rip overlays are in place, we will select all the overlays at once. Next, simply right-click on any of the selected overlays. From the context menu that appears, we should choose the option labeled Set to Frame Size. This will help us adjust the resolution of the overlays uniformly, ensuring a cohesive and polished final appearance. Now, let's select the last overlay and move over to the Effect Controls panel. Let's find the Opacity panel. From the Blending Mode parameter, we have to select Screen Mode from the list. Once we have set this up, let's copy the Opacity panel we just configured. Next, we will proceed to select all the other overlays that require the same effect. After that, paste the copied opacity panel onto them. All right, now you can see the changes on the program monitor. To proceed to the next step, we need to begin by selecting the first image, the corresponding matte file, and the overlay. Once they are highlighted, right-click on the selection to bring up the context menu. From there, choose the option to nest. I'm going to call this shot one for easy reference. Finally, click OK to confirm the nesting process. We will follow this same procedure for the remaining materials to keep everything organized and cohesive. Let's begin by positioning the time indicator at the very start of our first shot. Once that's set, we will move the time indicator three frames forward. Next, we will carefully place the second shot right at this new point in the timeline. Again, we will move the time indicator three frames forward to prepare for the next placement. Similarly, we will position the third shot at this point. This method will be repeated for the remaining shots, ensuring a consistent and fluid arrangement. Once all shots have been strategically positioned, we will move the time indicator an additional six frames forward. At this juncture, we will cut each shot to align perfectly with this new mark. 
With this final adjustment, we are nearly finished with our project. In the next step of our editing process, we will reposition the second video clip to align perfectly at the end of our transition. Our focus now shifts to importing the light leak effect along with the accompanying sound effect to enhance the atmosphere of our project. To start, we will apply the light leak overlay. From the beginning of the last shot, we need to carefully move the time indicator exactly three frames forward to ensure a seamless integration. Once we reach this precise point in the timeline, we can confidently drag and drop the light leak onto this marked position. After placing the overlay, it's essential to adjust its resolution. Finally, to achieve the desired aesthetic, we need to navigate to the blending mode settings and select the screen mode from the list, allowing the light leak to blend beautifully with the underlying footage. Lastly, we need to incorporate the paper sound effect to enhance the visual transition. This audio element will help create a more dynamic and attention-grabbing experience for the audience. In this way, you can create a really simple and nice paper rip transition effect in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.